Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today I'm here with top coach Ellie Barrity and he is going to help me with my backhand top spin against a backspin ball. So, backhand topspin against the backspin ball. Now this shot has been driving me crazy, okay? Driving me crazy. I've been working on it for a long time. And I, I can do it, I can do it. Do it in practice, in drills, and do it in practice matches. But when it comes down to it in a competitive match, I think I'm still probably inclined to push when I know I should be doing that backhand topspin. Um, so, Going to do some work with Ellie and the real aim here is to look at the technique see if there's anything which can help me improve the stroke help me do it better help increase my confidence so that i can finally finally do it in competitive matches when i most need to do it you know on a regular basis okay really want to make this shot work for me So with the backhand open up with Tom, he wasn't using his legs properly. He was dropping his legs, dropping the arm, which is great. But then as he went up, he hit with the arm, he moved his arm, hit the ball, and then went upwards afterwards. So we tried to focus on the, the shot in a one motion movement. So we drop the legs, bend the, uh, bring the arm down, wrist in, bend the knees and lift up as we hit the ball, lift up as we hit the ball, there. The second aspect that we noticed was again the wrist wasn't flicking outwards, which, which meant he wasn't able to generate loads of spin. So over here we focused on the wrist, flicking out, and that enabled him to generate loads of top spin, get a little bit more height on the ball, a little bit more safety, and then he was able to get the ball on the tables. So we try to focus also a little bit on the psychological aspect. When you have fear and anxiety and stuff like that, it's actually the same symptoms in your body as when you're excited. So we try to reverse the psychology and tell ourselves, right, I'm excited to open up with a good back and open up. So if it's a 9-9 and you've got a scenario where you think, oh, well, I don't want to open up with my backhand, challenge yourself and open up with the backhand. Number one, even if you get it on, your opponent will be uh, shocked, giving you the ability to try and uh, win the point. And also it gives you the confidence in the long run to continuously open up with the backhand when you are in a tight situation. some really good observations from Ellie about what I was doing and I think just really interesting about the way I was using my legs and what I was doing before was doing the shot 
then bringing my legs up. I had no idea that I was doing that, so great to get that tip. Actually using my legs to spring up makes the shot a lot easier to do. Um, the other kind of things I really need to think about doing is just making sure that I am brushing the ball, not hitting it, and brushing the ball, I've got to work on that, and extending that wrist to get that extra whip on the ball. That's something else for me to work on. So three, three important things. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do comment um, on anything you've seen, um, any tips that you have, I'd be really happy to hear them. And please do subscribe to my channel and also to Ellie's channel and take a look at our websites. We've got loads of useful table tennis tips on our website. I'll put all of the links in the description of the video, so, so check them out. Um, and I will be um, posting a new video soon. Okay, bye-bye.